All right, so 98, 98, it's a 95 Mitsubishi Montero. I've got a 98 RM I got to work on after this. But um, window regulator, pretty common problem in these trucks. In fact, I've got two on this car that uh, I have to replace. And I must do, I don't know how many different jobs a week on uh, a bunch of different cars. I think we have eight cars right now, but anyway, um, I never record any of this stuff, so I wanted to share a little bit of this, and uh, I already pulled the regulator out, so this is it right here. It's pretty simple. It goes in like this, so you can see you got two, one, two, or actually one, two screws there. So it goes like this, then the motor mounts with the uh, actual electric motor pointing up. I got the new regulator, so I'll, I'll show you kind of how to align it. Um, this is the new one. So you can see the regulator cables are pretty tight. So it's gonna mount like this. Uh, what you gotta do is roll the, push the window up, and then it is gonna screw into there through those little mounted screw slots there. So I'm gonna try to set this camera down. And um, mm, let's see if I get a better angle. Sorry, hadn't planned on doing this, but I always think about it after the fact. There we go. So anyway, so we're gonna mount this this way. First thing you wanna do, get the window up. Kind of biggest part right there is getting these uh, getting these bolts aligned. So I got to hold the, the window. I don't have to, but that's what you get for not completely planning your jobs out. So what I'd like to do with these is set my one of my top ones, and then set the. Uh, one at the bottom, align my motors, and go from there. So, slide this over. If you have the top aligned, the rest of them kind of take care of themselves. And don't tighten anything down until you're ready to finish up. So. Before you screw in, at least do your first set screw for your glass. Make sure that uh, you have a free, you've got free um, motion for your window. You don't want to have anything kind of stuck in the way of the motor or the uh, or the regulator. Let's come out here. And then if you've used anything, like I do sometimes, to hold the window up. Make sure you get it out of the uh, out of the trough. Um, piece of wood, something like that. I even have the wrong screwdriver, so.
pretty much the same way. There's three screws for these. I only see two here. So we get one high and low. You really do need all three screws because of the way that the, um, the motor torques when it rolls the window up and down. You don't want this thing bouncing around. obviously taking it out is just the same thing opposite. The screwdriver sucks. So I will anchor that later. So to give you I can plug this motor in. Now, test fire. That's it. So, obviously, I want to go through and tighten all this stuff up but uh that's it not as hard as it looks or it seems